Everybody, good morning. It's, uh, it's morning on the West Coast. Um, yeah. Get a little coffee. Um, as you know, my, um, my beautiful and talented and lovely wife, Cassandra, is uh, doing a campaign right now to benefit to write love on her arms. And I've talked about it once and she's talked about it a bunch, but it's ending tomorrow. So she's going to pop on here and we're going to talk a little bit about it and maybe answer some questions or maybe I'll just ask her questions. I don't know. I, I'm just hoping this will work, basically. Um, done the crossovers now, back in Vancouver, uh, getting ready for, um, for some fun fall things and... That's pretty much it. I'm tired. I woke up like five minutes ago. No, well, five minutes before 11 o'clock and then did a little press for the crossover. Talked to my good buddy Damon Holbrook and, you know, just, uh, just patiently waiting for my wife to pop on Instagram. And normally I'm much better at, um, what's the word that I'm looking for here? Um, filib filibusting? But I got basically nothing right now. Let me see who's requesting that we go live. There she is. Do, 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 do. I requested. <laughs> You're supposed to text There me. it goes. Hey, good morning. Look at that. Hi. Make sure you can see yourself and remember that people don't like to get vertigo, just like me. So hold it nice see, and steady. I can see, but I can't really hear you. Though. Can you not hear me? Hi. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Can you hear me now? With the live on Instagram, it seems to not work. I don't know. I mean, I can I can hear you. It's just not super loud. Okay. Well, maybe turn up your phone. It's all the way up. Okay. Well, then just listen very carefully, and hopefully no one comes by the house with a leaf blower, okay? Okay. Okay. So everyone can hear you fine. So explain a little bit about your campaign, which is high fives only, to benefit to write love on her arms. Explain the no hugging thing. Please. Okay. Well, I've never been a hugger, which I guess it took you a minute to find out. But <laughs> what, why? Because you like hugging me. Well, yeah, I do like hugging you, but I also <laughs> let you smooch me. You know. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I just feel like hugs have gotten really watered down as a greeting. You know, someone comes up and you saw them yesterday, and it's just like hug, hug. And I think even the look you see on people's faces sometimes when they come in to hug you, they're not even thinking about it. It's almost right. like that greeting when someone says. Hi, how are you? Great. So um, what I wanted to talk about, they don't, take a, they don't take that time to actually listen to your response. So I think that, you know, I kind of lump hugging in with the how are you as a, as a greeting category. And I think it tends to get a bit watered down. It's not that I will never hug, mm -hmm. you know, weddings and celebratory occasions and such, you know, um, stuff but like were, that. But that deserves a hug, but I just hugs as a greeting and as just an automatic assumption that you get to encroach on another person's personal space is something that I think should have a little bit of attention. It should just be a discussion. That's all, you know? I got you. So, so that people know, I'm not saying that I, like, I don't want to take credit for high fives only, but instead of talking about this, you used to give, let's be honest, you just used to give shitty hugs. And people would I come did. up to you <laughs> and they would be like, is Cass mad at me? And I'd be like, uh, what? And they would say like, well, her greeting was just kind of like cold. Like she was annoyed about something. And I told you that you either needed to tell people that you were not a hugger. And that was like the original genesis of the campaign. But that sounded like if we did a shirt that said no hugs, please, that that came from like a negative place right yeah, i don't like anything to... coming from a negative place right, you know that so... that's like the other thing that we talk about quite a bit is that everything should be solution or positivity mm -hmm. which is why it's which is why it's like high fives and then you had a then you had a um a friend of yours refer to high fives as hand hugs and now we're just off and running yeah i the hand hugs is just now i'm going to refer to everything <laughs> as hand hugs forever from here on out because it's it's an awesome term yep um I, you know, I, I was super awkward, but I think that only a test and really speaks to 
some people get super awkward if they're not a hugger or they feel like their personal boundaries are, you know, I don't want to say being violated, but it's, it's definitely something outside of their comfort zone. Okay. And so to, you know, to be, to, to be able to, to that, the way that I show that awkwardness is probably how those people are showing it too. And I just didn't know that I could speak up about it because I just thought it was the norm of the world. Yeah. Um, and I think that being able to say, hey, this makes me feel uncomfortable or feel awkward or I've just, you know, like it, this isn't something that I naturally want to do now with the T-shirt right here. There you go. Well, this is actually a hoodie. But it, it, it at least becomes a conversation and you can just speak up about it so you can avoid that awkward. Eh. As you mentioned, it's awkward for the people giving the hug as well. It's, it's more not awkward just awkward for, for me. It is, yeah, it's more awkward for them than it is for you. So, exactly. So explain a little bit. So the campaign goes until tomorrow at midnight. Campaign goes until tomorrow at midnight. T-shirts, hoodies, everything is to the benefit to write love on our arms, which... Again, we mentioned being positivity oriented and solution oriented, and that's exactly what that organization does. They are all about support and hope um, mm -hmm. for people dealing with addiction and depression and struggling with um, suicidal thoughts or self-harm. And so to really, really focus on instead of saying there's you're having these issues and, and we need to fix them. It is more like, hey, we know you're having a hard time, but let's focus on the hope and all the reasons that we we can be inspired to help sure. you out of whatever you're going through. Awesome. Yeah. Represent.com forward slash Cassandra. Cassandra, that's me. Yes. Okay. How's the campaign been going? How's your first campaign experience? It's been good. I think that like the biggest thing for me was the amount of overwhelming response with people that are also not huggers or people that have a friend or know someone that's not a hugger. Um, and them saying, I've, I've always felt like there was something wrong with me. And now I right. know, or, or, you know, maybe, or, or just saying that I've always felt out of place um, because people tell me, why don't you like hugs or you shouldn't hug or what you, you should hug. So the mm -hmm. amount of people that have spoken up and it's for a variety of reasons. Some right. people just aren't physical people. Some people specifically don't like hugs. Uh, some people have been struggling with PTSD or anxiety disorders. And there's a very wide range of reasons that people aren't into hugs, but the fact yeah. that, you know, that now people are talking about it and people feel inspired to speak up about it is definitely, I think, the coolest thing about it. Because just to clarify, I know this, but just so it's not as though you're a germaphobe or anything like that. It's just like you just you just like your personal space sometimes and you just don't. Like I do like my personal yeah. space. Yeah. And it's not a germaphobe thing. I mean, I'm sure that some people's reason is not Right. I'm not saying that that's help. an issue. I'm just saying that that's not you. It's, it's just simply a. It's, it's an active choice that you're making. Yes, it is an active choice. And I feel like it's an active choice that a lot of people would be making. So now people are talking about it, you know? Good, good. Um, what are you up to for the rest of the day? Or do you want to just chat <laughs> offline? <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's early dismissal at, at, our, at our kiddo school. So I got to go get her and do yep. you know, like doctors things. Also, um, Dabs Milo, those really cool artists that are, uh, they did that mural for our yep. spot in Palm Springs, there I'm, they have a show and an exhibit. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check. Take Mavi to check it out. And that sounds her fun. A little bit. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I'll just FaceTime you when you're done this, but I'll put a link up on my stories. Represent.com forward slash Cassandra. Um, if you want to go to Cassandra Pants's uh, profile, she has a bunch of videos and posts um, talking about the campaign, and I'm very proud of her. That's all. Yeah, sounds good. Represent.com slash Cassandra. It's in there. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.